Working with electricity is dangerous. This video is an example of what we've done. Read the disclaimer carefully before you continue. Okay. Three blue boxes. That's our charge controller. Uh, MPPT charge controllers. So uh, that gives us about 30% better charge than a uh, pulse width modulation charger. Um, okay, let's quickly look at what's going on. There's three of them. They interconnected. Um, see there's some terminal blocks where they actually get together but I'll get to that. Let's start on this side. So take one of them. We've got Okay, uh, positive coming in from battery. I'm oh, sorry. Positive coming in from PV panel. Negative from PV panel. This positive. It's got a breaker on it, so I can switch it off here. Yeah? Positive going out of the charge controller. Negative going out of the charge controller. These two going out. Those get to uh, termination block. See, there all my positive gets together, and all my ne negative side together. Okay. Now um, you'll see these uh, the the cables are color coded, so there's a red circuit, a blue circuit, and a green circuit. The yellow line goes to the um, short protection breaker in the box, um, and it will come back as a white line, and white basically goes to in this instance so my you can see these my black that's marked white and that goes to battery negative okay so from the terminating blocks um, there's a wire negative going to battery negative there's a wire on this side coming out here that comes from that switch, uh, the 40 amp breaker in there, and that's battery positive. So um, you'll see there's quite a few connectors here. I wonder why, because I've got um, two banks of battery and they're actually in, se in, in series. So outside is my negative, in the middle there's a bank positive and negative getting together, another bank positive and negative getting together, and then my combined positive. Okay, so power coming in from the charge controllers and then there's a thick cable. Yeah. And that is another thick cable there. That basically goes um, to the breaker box that will feed the inverter. Now, this battery connected with a thick cable actually goes into another device that I've fitted here on the side. It's a battery protector. So what you don't want to happen is you don't want to um, let your batteries discharge too much. Um, this is a device that was actually built for the automotive industry, but I'm using it here to actually make sure that my batteries don't discharge too much so it is programmed at the moment uh, when the battery voltage gets to 23 volt it will basically switch off and make sure that I don't drain the batteries anymore okay so the positive of the battery going into the battery protector and then the thick cable coming out of the battery protector thick cable runs down the back okay and that now runs into another breaker box and this is the breaker box that uh, connects to my inverter okay, cool let's quickly go back to the to the battery cabinet um, trying to give you a little bit of a bigger view of everything that's there so let me walk back a bit okay so uh, the battery cabinet can take six batteries at the moment. There's only four. Uh, they 12 volt, 200 amp hour batteries. Uh, so 
there's two banks, uh, the left bank and the right bank. They wired in series, that gives me 24 volts and I've got um, 180, sorry, I've got 300 watt um, PV panels. Um, that gives me anything from about 26 volt to 48 volt, so that's perfect for for charging uh, a 24 volt system. Okay, as you can see, just on top, there's the the breaker boxes. And one is still open. Okay. Um, you'll also see there's a fire extinguisher and something else that will be fitted. Uh, just after we've done this video, it would be a smoke detector. Uh, most of the times when you see a vehicle that's burnt out, it's not because of fuel, it is because of batteries. Batteries is a fire hazard, so always keep a fire extinguisher handy. That fire extinguisher obviously is not going to stand on the battery. It will be mounted on the on the wall top the next to one of the breaker boxes. Um, and uh, as I say, I'll fit a smoke detector. Um, You'll see that I've got two cables running from each one of the the batteries for positive and negative. Um, unfortunately, the guys who supplied me with uh, with cables didn't have silicon cable thick enough, so I had to use two. You'll also see that there's a funny little black thing there. That's basically a fuse and uh, connected to the negative terminal there and connected to the charge controller so that's just to protect the charge controller so that nothing goes wrong yep um, that's pretty much it uh, what still remains to be done is I need to physically connect the uh, the panels on top of the roof and then we can check if it works <laughs>